So if there was going to be one problem in this season, one problem with all these characters, any of these characters, one problem that could snag this period piece drama action that is Zorro, it's modernizing any of the characters. That is a no-no. And well, Lolita is just that. Unfortunately, in episode five, it flares up its ugly head really, really, uh, and it's, it's, it, it almost took me out and this is probably the weakest of the episodes I've seen yet but episode six is a bounce back so I'm actually reviewing five and six together it's the Zorro it's uh we've been doing these episodic reviews and even that being said right even this glaring uh just modern take with this with this one character everything else is great Great intrigue, great twists. A lot of these characters are doing a lot of mischievous things, a lot of mystery, which I'm all in for. Okay, so episode five is called The Execution and refers to the three Indians that are going to be executed by the governor. Uh, Zoro doesn't want that, makes a pact with the other Zoro. Hey, let's bust them out. We both want the same thing, we both want peace. Uh, Nalin is more of like, I want the, you know, what's right for my people. Uh, Don Diego wants peace for everyone. So, uh, great little pact, great little, uh, 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 idea, uh, that keeps all these characters, you know, going along in this series and, uh, they, they are successful. It is short lived and, uh, they, they do split, they do, uh, go their separate ways. Uh, there's a little more mystery being uncovered with Don Diego's father, and he's part of this uh, bear clan, and it is those hooded gentlemen that we've been seeing in and out of the of the uh, of the series. Again, very cool. Who are these hooded gentlemen? Who is the bear clan, and why uh, do these bear pendants? Uh, he's seeing them in uh, finally seeing the clues that uh weren't shown before okay now i i I've, i was really into that i'm been really into all the characters uh kind of growing doing the thing from maybe you know uh may not being the best cook <laughs> that was funny uh to a lot of these other characters uh moving the story along but let's get to it lolita Oh, my God, Louis. I, I'm going to say this. Renata is such a beautiful person to look at. You, you, almost, you almost forgive it, but no. Nah. But, but, but you, you can't in this one glaring scene. So she, she's kind of being this... She, they, they kind of took a step back in the writing with her in that she's a brat again, contemplating, do I marry Enrique? Enrique is a great character, by the way. He's becoming one of my favorite characters. If it, you know, besides Don Diego, I think I like Enrique uh, the best. What a what a great take on this captain. And it makes sense because they're two both good men, and that's what she's having a hard time with. And there's a moment at a dinner where she is, uh, you know, she's just kind of like daydreaming. And the uh, the father confronts her later on, and he's pissed. He's super. He's super pissed, saying you can't be rude like that. You gotta stop this stuff. And she's she's spouting off. She's mouthing off, and he slaps her. Says you better behave. Right. So what does she do? Right away, she goes and grabs a gun off the wall, a rifle off the wall, shoots at him, purposely misses him, and says, "If I love you, you're my father, and I love you, but if you ever hit me again, I will kill you." What? <laughs> what? This father has been so great to her, has given her everything, who's done everything for her, right? They have this, which, you know, he's trying to knock sense of her, sex, sense into her. And she threatens his life. She, she takes, an, it takes a shot at him. This is the 1830s. I mean, she would have been done. That just doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm just, I'm just confused as to why. I'm not confused because 
it, it's one of the writers trying to insert anything modern, any any modern take on uh, kind of like just uh, abusive parental, uh, you know, uh, patriarchy from the past. And it's like, that's how it was. So if you're going to show it, then you got to show what would happen. What would the consequences be? Or don't show that. That was awful. You didn't need that scene at all. So it totally took me out. It took me a few scenes to get back into it in what was a really enjoyable uh, season so far. And okay, that's the biggest glare. Okay, it, it didn't it didn't ruin the rest of the of the of the uh, episode. And like I said, the bounce back with episode six was sufficient. It is called uh, what what's this? Uh, mass games, mass games. So. What's going on is that we're, we're, we're heading to this moment where uh, the Don Ramirez's lands and mines are up for sale, up for auction. The Russians want it. Outside interests want it. Some of the other Californios want it. Um, but Don Diego wants to get it, and he wants to work with the Chinese miners. So there's a whole thing with the, with the, the men from Chinatown and helping him uh, make this successful. Uh, that was cool. There, there's a, you know, in these two episodes, what you saw were a lot of the establishing minor roles doing a lot of business. Then you have Don Diego being taken and he, in and, and it's not by force. He, uh, he, 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 he agrees to be taken by the Bear Clan and he finally has a meeting with the Bear Clan and they're Californios who want to be liberated from Mexico and want basically they want their own bear republic, the California Republic. Uh, so that was kind of interesting, and it was interesting as to like his father was a part of it. He's like, if my father was a part of it, I'm a part of it. So that was cool. Um, he realizes that Lolita's father was part of the clan as well. He fi- kind of figured that out uh, right away. What I'm seeing in the in these two episodes is Don Diego. Um, really, it, it was very, it was actually a very little Zorro of Don Diego. There's actually very little Zorro in these last two episodes, but that's okay because Don Diego has a lot to unpack. And, uh, the, the, the big thing is that mystery with his father, uh, and then all the relationships he has that he's trying to work with from Lolita to, uh, the governor and, um, I will say this. So I, I really liked all that. Uh, another positive is the role of Enrique, the, the captain. What an incredible character. We find out he's an orphan and he's such a good man. And you can see that uh, L- Lolita does love him or is enamored with him, respects him. There is a scene where um, he, uh, he gets wounded and she's there. And, uh, you know, he saves her life and if he, she, she loves, she loves him for that. And so they had, they had a really good moment there. Um, towards the end of the scene, towards the end of, uh, the second ep- of, of, uh, of mass games, I was a little thrown off that there was an attack by Naline on Enrique as they're leaving, uh, Lolita's family's house, uh, com- uh, compound. To where uh, she's she's wounded. I don't, she's not mortally wounded. Nadine's wounded by Lolita. Like, okay, <laughs> where did she come up with her? She got that rifle real fast. I was like, if it gets worse, if it gets more, more, uh, more like an obvious thorn, and it's taken away from Zoro's story, I'm not into. I really don't care about. These storylines with uh, with Lolita, Na- Naline, I, I I I bought. I like the Indian connection. I like the indigenous connection, and that's it. Uh, so this could be really problematic going into the final episodes. I will let you guys know. Uh, that being said, uh, episode five was decent, and uh, Mass Games was really good. It was really good. So. Uh, I would say episode five is my lowest. I'd give it a, I'd give it a a seven, and mass games. I would it, it did pick up. So we're we're looking at a uh, 
a 7.5. Definitely not the 8 and 8.5s of the of the first four, but listen, there's going to be there's going to be a low. I, I it was unfortunate, but you know, uh there's always one modern writer, I guess, in that writers room. That's re- that really and it really showed. And you you can't you can't you can't have it both ways. If you're going to show that, then you got to show it all the way like what would have happened in the 1830s if you struck your father in his house. In his house if you threatened his life. If you threatened to kill him. It was just so out of uh just out of it just you know that I was I was a little baffled. There's other relationships going on between um uh that father and the and the Russian woman. Uh, it's established that they had been sleeping around. So I don't know if Lolita thinks of her, her father in that light. I don't even think it's established that she knew that she knows about this. What she, as far as she knows is that he's been a he's been a great dad to her and he saved her life one time early in the in the season. So yeah, that bugged me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Other than that, I love all the intrigue and the mystery that's going on, and I'm ready for the final few episodes. If you want some more info on Zorro, you're going to check out our watch party right now. We're going to do a watch party of the finale. If you want to skip to our finale, that's going to be up soon right there. It is a finale watch party with Midnight's Edge Espanol and Latino Slant, wherever you're at. Keep that slant fuerte. Zorro.